Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm recording a fall favorites video and I almost want to say this is like a monthly favorites video and fall favorites in one because some of the stuff you'll look at and be like, Clarissa, girl, you could use that stuff any time of the year. It doesn't have to be strictly for fall. But you know, I needed an excuse to sit in front of my decor again. <laughs> And um, some of the pieces are fall related or like cold weather related. So I decided let's do a fall favorites video. I love the season of fall. It is my favorite season for fashion, beauty, all that jazz. But if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, the notification bell and the thumbs up button so I know to film more future content like this one. All right, let's get on into the favorites video. So starting off with the beauty category, I have some eyeshadows to share. And because of this pandemic, I will say I haven't been wearing a ton of makeup out of the house if it is it's like to go take photos outside or to go to a dinner or something like that because while wearing a mask it just doesn't make sense to me to be wearing makeup here and below um that just screams break me out <laughs> so if i am wearing makeup it's literally just eye makeup so rest in peace to all my lipsticks for this time being but i love fall eyeshadow colors they are so pretty there's so many nice copper tones oranges bronzes i feel like it's the most versatile with the tones of neutrals i feel like you can be using so i have some here to share with you today and i will say a lot of these products aren't new you would have seen these on my channel before in past videos and i'm just bringing them back i'm almost reminding you guys that i'm still into this stuff so the first one being um a mac single shadow and this was actually from a collection i don't even think it says the collection on yeah it doesn't on the packaging but this was from like their aqua water collection i don't really remember what it was called it was years ago this honestly probably is expired but i still use it do as i say not as i do and this is in the shade lorelei first of all let's just take in this packaging it's absolutely stunning look at like the water droplets they got right on there with a little bit of rays so freaking cool then you open the shadow and it looks like this it's an extra dimension eyeshadow so it does work better when it is used with a wet brush so I just run it under the tab like really quickly, um, just so it has a little bit of dampness to it and it picks up more of a solid color and it transfers to your eyelid a lot more vibrant and pigmented. So let's just take a swatch of this real quick. It's my hand. I don't know if you can really tell. I'm wearing it on my eyelids today. I think it's so freaking stunning. It's so complimentary, I love it. So that is an eyeshadow I wear all over my lids. Then I'm gonna jump into the little palette I built myself from MAC. And this bottom middle shade here is called Mythology. This one right here, I'm gonna do a swatch for you. This one is a chunky glitter though, so you do have to be careful because lots of fallout will happen on your cheeks here. Look at that orange. It is so pretty, oh my God. I'm also wearing that one today paired with this one on my crease or in my crease. So Mythology, you can still purchase at MAC. I'm not too sure about the extra dimension eyeshadow in Lorelei, but I will definitely link these down below. They are so freaking stunning. Now, while being in this lockdown, self-isolation, whatever period you wanna call it, I definitely did give my nails a break from polish, but I also did after I gave my nails the break was constantly painting them. I get tired of the color after about a week and then I change it when I start to see some chipping. So I broke out some cute fall colors. Again, these are definitely products you've seen on my channel before, but this one is one I'm currently wearing, which is China Glaze Harvest Moon. And I don't think you can buy this one, unfortunately, anymore. I think it's from the Hunger Games collection. So that just goes to show you also how long I've had this nail polish, but it's such a pretty like copper penny color if you're Canadian. Do you know what pennies are, I assume? <laughs> They're no longer um, available to be using as currency here in Canada, but the color just reminds me of like a very shiny, shiny penny, um, a little bit more of a pigmented bronze, but I think it's really stunning. I don't normally go for chrome nail polishes. I feel like they could look a little tacky and very like space looking, like, you know, outer space colors, but this one they did really well and I love it for fall. And this next polish I have to show you is an Essie polish. And I don't know if this is from my previous fall collection. I can't really put my finger on it, but it might be part of their permanent line now. I don't really know. It's in the shade very structured and basically it looks like the color I'm wearing if it wasn't a shimmer. So if my nails weren't a shimmer, it would be this color. 
So on camera, it's looking a little bit more chocolatey brown. I want to say it's more of like an orangey brick color. Um, again, with those super warm neutrals for the fall, this is stunning to wear. I'll try to find a couple different swatches on different skin tones of how this looks like on the nail. I think it's so beautiful for fall. A fragrance favorite, which I haven't done in so long because I feel like it takes a while for me as a female to go through perfume bottles. I really only have two or three that I rotate between and they're all around the same amount of liquid in each one at this point. So eventually I will have to go get a new perfume bottle, but I've been taking advantage of all these sample perfumes I've been just sitting laying around in my makeup drawers for years and I had about 10 samples I kid you not of this Katy Perry Royal Revolution perfume and it smells so darn good I feel like I've now thrown this into my rotation of perfume wearing um, I don't know the notes of it and I'm not very good at describing the scent but I will put the notes up on the screen hopefully they still sell it because this is kind of old now but I've been loving this for just daily wear. Moving on to the fashion category, I love blanket scarves. Give me any blanket scarf and I will wear it. I don't have any new ones to show you this season, but I will just insert a bunch of clips right now of me wearing all my blanket scarves in my videos. Um, the ones I do own are a little bit more pricey as well, so I feel like I don't need to go buy more because the ones I have are like solid. They're like my ride or dies. I wear them so many times throughout the season and they're neutrals for the most part so they go with so many outfits dress them up dress them down i love being warm in the winter i mean anyone would but especially in canada the one i'm currently sporting is from aritzia and i also have this one in like a dark red crimson navy it's probably my only like colored scarf that i have that i wear my next fashion piece is just a cropped sweater you would have seen me haul this a little bit ago i'll try to pop it up on the screen i'm pretty sure i did it as a try on haul um, and it's this Adidas cropped gray sweater with a quarter zip and it has the trefoil, I believe that's how it's pronounced, down the sleeves in black and then it has a little cinch tie at the bottom. I freaking love this sweater. I wear it so much. It's my go-to crop sweater at the moment and I really do lean towards my athlete ones too. So this one's like starting to take over. I'm loving this one. Next are a pair of slippers. And I am so obsessed with these. I've had them for, I want to say a year or two now, but you can buy these basically anywhere. I'm pretty sure like you can buy them at Walmart, but they're like these little moccasin slippers and they're a little bit dirty inside, so don't mind that. But they were only like 10 bucks and I bought them from Plato's Closet, which here, I don't know if there's any in the States, but it's like a secondhand store that has some like designer goods. And by designer, I don't mean like Gucci. I mean like Aritzia, Lululemon, more like affordable designer pieces um, and you can also bring in stuff to sell and they'll give you money for um, sometimes they do sell items that do have like the tags on them from scratch like they bought them from a factory or some manufacturer so they had like a bunch of these slippers in brand new so these weren't used so I got them for like 10 bucks and the brand is great northern your feet will sweat in them though so don't just be barefoot I would put on some socks because it is a fleecy fluffy inside my next favorite item is actually right behind me here and it's a candle this is my bath and body works pumpkin pecan waffles candle i love this candle it smells so freaking good it just makes me crave waffles like a sunday brunch that's what it really makes me crave i did do some research on these candles about a year ago because i was starting to be more weary of kind of what i was breathing in the air around me and a lot of people were saying that they weren't soy based candles and soy based candles are typically more expensive i also did talk to the girls who work at bath and body works and they all did confirm that these candles are soy based so with that being said i still will be continuing to buy bath and body works candles um, but i do have to make it a point to keep one out on kind of like my dresser throughout the year because if I don't I'll just put it in my drawer under my bed and if it's like out of sight out of mind I won't burn the candle when you're sitting in quarantine for so long you really start to like appreciate the little things like decor to make you feel like the seasons are changing and occasions are happening um, and holidays are a thing because it definitely can get you know dark headspace when you feel like you're living deja vu and it's the same day over and over again. Long story short, I love this freaking candle. My next favorite is my Hydro Jug water bottle and I did haul this a little while ago as well. This is in the light pink color. I drink so much water or I want to say like more than the average person I feel. I've been doing a lot better with it in the last two years maybe. And I used to drink, I have my other water bottle right here. 
from this one, which is completely fine, you know, a normal size water bottle, maybe even a little bit bigger. And this one's like, size comparison, so much bigger. So when I go from drinking this big one to this small one, it's just so funny because this is like two or three of these. And then this, I feel like I can just chuck back so much faster and I'm like, I'm so used to drinking the big one. Anyway, I feel like I drink so much more water in the summer just because I am outside more and it's really humid in Toronto in the summer. Um, and in the winter, it's harder to get that water down, at least more of it. So I find that when I force myself to drink from this on most days, I'm drinking more water um, because like I won't go to bed unless I know I drink in at least one and a half to two of these a day. Love my hydro jug. Also love this one, but love my hot jug jug. I do have a food favorite for fall, and I won't say this is specifically fall related. This is one of those things where I will now be having all year round, as long as Costco keeps selling it. And my boyfriend actually introduced me to this cereal. I feel like every time I go over to his house, I'm treated with a new cereal of choice, and then I come back and I ask my mom to buy it from Costco. So the cereal of choice recently has been the Eggo maple syrup flavored cereal. Guys, this is so good. Oh my God, I can't. There have been brands who have tried to make other branded things and cereal, and it just doesn't taste quite this, just like the actual product, if that makes sense. This tastes dead on to the Eggo waffles. I just can't, I'm obsessed. I could sit and eat this like chips out of a bowl. Like it's addicting, really addicting. If you are interested in the macros, for one serving, it's 34 grams, one cup. It's 130 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 28 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein. So nothing outrageous. Um, and no artificial flavors or colors made with whole grains. 10 out of 10 guys, go get you some of this. Now getting into some random favorites. So the stuff that I can't physically hold and show you. They're like movies, music, TV shows, etc. So we'll start with the show. My favorite show at the moment is Dexter and my boyfriend introduced me to this and now we watch it together and there's so many seasons and they're gonna come out with a new one. So our goal is to catch up and watch them all before the new season comes out because my boyfriend has already seen all the seasons. So he's just re-watching them all with me because he's a good boyfriend really good show it's a drama i will pop down the trailer in the description box maybe for season one if you're interested we're only on season one i can imagine it only gets better from here um in the pilot episode they really jam-packed it and really got you hooked so i highly recommend if you like drama with like some crime in it and like a few comedy lines here and there throughout the show my favorite movie at the moment which you guys are going to be just blown away by i've never seen straight out of compton i know disappointed in myself as a person who went to school for film super disappointed in myself but my boyfriend and i watched it recently and it was so good it really was an eye-opening movie i will say that i'm very lucky for the way i grew up and where i grew up and watching a movie through a different perspective and knowing how other people's lives and how difficult they were in different ways than mine growing up was just so eye-opening. It was a really good movie. I, I was like a nine out of 10, eight and a half out of, it was high up on their, on the scale guys. Really good movie. And a lot of it is based on a true story. I didn't even know. Last but not least, we have my music favorites of the, let's say the last few months because fall is very, really season specific for music. Um, but this is in no specific order. Tyler Hero literally just dropped today, so I'm a little bit of a cheater with this one, saying it's my fall favorite. It's a banger, go get it right now. Tyler Hero is by Jack Harlow. Lemonade, I think that's my favorite song out of everything on this list. I've listened to it too many times, too many times. Repeat every single day when I'm doing something, either my makeup, when I'm going for a walk, when I'm driving, multiple places, I just, Lemonade is by Internet Money, Gunna, Don Tolliver, and Nav. I have this love for Don Tolliver's music. I don't know what it is about his voice. You know how like Travis Scott has that auto-tune? Don Tolliver doesn't have auto-tune, but like there's something about his voice. Maybe it's like a little bit of raspiness in there. I don't know, but it sounds so good. And I just like, I vibe with anything he really puts out now. Paid Off by Russ, also a banger. Out of Time by Bryson Tiller featuring Drake. Also a good song, not my favorite, but a good song. Rambo has been around for a long time um, by Bryson Tiller, but they released a newer one featuring The Weeknd, which is such a good song. Oh, I love that one. To Lil Shorty by Don Tolliver and Donnie Womack. 
if I'm pronouncing that correctly. That one's really good. Holding On by Flume, really good. I don't really care about the lyrics for that one. That one's solely just the beat for me. Unholy by Miley Cyrus, I accidentally found on Spotify one day. It just, I shuffled to that song and I was like, oh, it's a good one, it's a good one. Vibes by the Baby's really good. And then another Miley Cyrus song, Midnight Sky, she released recently and that one was also a banger. Definitely like a, say like 80s, 90s vibe, I can't really decide. Has a disco ball, somewhere 80s. I like that she's kind of like bringing that back. My favorite podcast that I've been listening to recently is Superwoman by Rebecca Minkoff. I have been a huge fan of Rebecca Minkoff's bags, handbags for years um, since I was literally in grade nine, a freshman. And now she has a podcast with so many amazing entrepreneurs, a lot of them female. Um, I think they're all female now that I'm scrolling. And they all give like really good advice and like wisdom and share their experiences and journeys um, through their entrepreneurship life. So go check her out if you're into Anything like Girl Boss Radio by Sophia Amoruso. That one also similar vibes. I will say my favorite podcast episode though, most recently, is with Joe Rogan and it was the Miley Cyrus one, hands down. I think it was so good. And I'm so glad Miley was able to be unfiltered and just like tell us really what it was the real Miley Cyrus, what life was like being a pop star at such a young age, being the Hannah Montana of Disney and all that jazz. So I'll link that down below as well. That one was really good. Well, that was everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below your favorite fall item or piece or snack you've been loving. I'd love to know. And don't forget to check out my social media handles, which will all be in the description box listed for you. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.